Guided by the Privatization Act of 2023, Section 21-1, Treasury CS Professor Njunguna Ndung in a notice released today has listed 11 state-owned parastatals for privatization in a bid to attract private investment and stimulate economic growth. The bill was sponsored by the majority leader of the National Assembly, Kimani Shungwa, and signed into law by President Ruth at State House Kisumu in October this year. The bill Cam act which repealed the previous Privatization Act of 205 aims at streamlining the privatization process through the establishment of the privatization authority. Parliament approved that um, those companies will have to, uh, the, 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 the leasing model was only leasing of the, what you're calling the nuclear estate. The ancestral land of, of those farmers, you know, cannot be taken away. You know, it's just a, it's, it's just a lease. The entities to be privatized include Kenya Literature Bureau, KLB, Kenya Seed Company Limited, KSC, National Oil Corporation of Kenya, NOCK, Kenyatta International Convention Center, KICC, Moya Rice Mills Limited, MRM, Western Kenya Rice Mills Limited, WKRM, Kenya Pipeline Company Limited, KPC, New Kenya Cooperative Creameries Limited, NKCC, Numerical Machining Complex Limited, NMC, Vehicle Manufacturers Limited, KVM, and Rivertex East Africa Limited Real. Despite five of the 11 entities being profitable, the Treasury says they are operating in mature sectors and their sales are expected to generate additional revenue for the exchequer. The five include the Kenya Literature Bureau, Kenyatta International Convention Center, Kenya Seed Company Limited, Kenya Pipeline Company, and the new Kenya Cooperative Creameries. Notably, KLB has been making profits over the years with a turnover of 2.6 billion shillings and a net profit of 85 million Kenya shillings in the financial year 2021-2022. The proceeds from the sale of direct national government shareholding will be paid into the consolidated fund with the public given until December 11th to submit their recommendations on the planned sale. As the clock ticks down on the program, questions about monopolistic business practices and their potential impact on the economy have surfaced. Lameka Gutuke 24 TV, Nairobi.